We're now hearing from school officials after parents voice concerns. I'm Kenzie Krieger, your neighborhood reporter in Crawfordville, and after tonight's school board meeting, teachers also are voicing their concerns for this school year. Susie McCord has been teaching in Wakulla County for 13 years. She says they can't afford to teach in Wakulla anymore and they're not getting paid enough. She says insurance is too much. It has been incredibly demoralizing to return to school in August and to learn how much less I'll take home in my pay due to the rising cost of health insurance. Susie says crowded classes are because teachers are leaving the district to get better pay. We hear a lot about the national teacher shortage. This is true. However, this is not the main reason for our overpacked classrooms in this county. Teachers in, in this district are leaving due to the constant, continual rising of medical insurance, and they're going to neighboring districts to get better pay and better benefits. The superintendent gave me the statement saying they're working to have student teachers help fill the gap. The statement says the district is working to implement a new initiative which allows an experienced teacher to supervise larger classes in partnership with a student teacher who is working to get their teaching degree. Once they complete their degrees, the district hopes to hire them full time as a way to close positions and reduce class sizes. Although a solution is being made, teachers are planning their futures outside of Wakulla School District. Kaylee Myers teaches in Wakulla. She says she has to leave. Medical expenses are too much. She said going to another school district would pay her more. I am already having to consider leaving the district. The school board says they expect to be fully staffed before the statewide reporting period. In Crawfordville, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Kenzie Krieger, ABC 27.